Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky the Third. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and this might seem familiar. Well, I have turned back the time I will fight the third guardian twice more. Um, let's look at my party. This time I have Reese and Ren with us because I w was told they have very intriguing dialogue with Cassius. Afterward, I will go against them with a Gate and Shira. And um, first up is General Morgan, though I think it's a two-part battle. So um, let's start this. I'm, I will cut out the battles, but I won't cut out the dialogue. What time, time do you call this? You're late, all of you. Wait, that was Morgan. I'm a, I'm a moron. What? General Morgan. What is the meaning of all of this? I get dragged here by some bizarre masked hoodlum stripped of my free will and, and am now being used like some sort of puppet? This is humiliating. I've never been so damned infuriated in all my years. General... <laughs> looks like he hasn't changed a bit. Wow, this old man sure is, has some ex impressive vocal cords. His voice is too loud. Well, I suppose getting angry won't do me any good. You all have my sympathies for the situation you've been forced into. Richard, I have plenty I want to say to you and a lot I could say to you. But I'm not sure I'm the best person to do so, so I'll let you off for now. Thank you, General. Regardless, I think we've st wasted enough time talking. There's no avoiding a battle between us. We may as well get started on it. Uh, a halberd? Ideos? I'm not sure when I last saw one of those. Don't underestimate his weapon. In his hands, it's extremely deadly. Before the mechanization of the army began, that halberd claimed the lives of countless foes on the battlefield. Ha! I haven't had cause to wield this since the martial arts tournament two years ago, however. But if you struggle against an old man like me, your odds of success in the trials ahead are grim indeed. Don't hold back. Show me what you've got. All right, I'll show you. <laughs> that's something of a relief. Perhaps you might be able to pull off a miracle with that strength. Then our final foe is who I fear it is. Indeed it is. And no matter how strong he may be, he is human like the rest of us. No man is invincible. Pour everything you have into the battle and you may yet be able to defeat him. Understood. <laughs> Still, I am a little disappointed. The thought that he may actually be defeated in a battle, and I won't be there to see it happen, is a frustrating one. Should we ever meet again, I'd like to know how the, how the battle went. Well, I'm gonna win. Hmm. Well, it sounds like we're in for the fight of our lives. That it will be. I suspect this was always an inevitability, especially as long as I'm here. I may not be in any position to ask, but I'd appreciate if you w would all lead me your strength. Lend me your strength. This battle should allow me to finally put the past behind me so I can truly move forward. But I can't win it alone. <laughs> After a plea like that, how can we refuse? Eh, so we get to fight the legendary hero the professor was so scared of, huh? I can hardly wait to see what he's like. His name and his strength are known even in the Gralsritter. I'm not sure how well I will be able to fear against him, but I intend to fight the very best I can. Thank you, all of you. Our next opponent is perhaps the strongest in the land. No underhanded tricks will work against him. Our only hope is to do as the general said and pour everything we have into fighting him. May the goddess be on our side. Right! I could have saved in between. I could have saved. I will create a save. I will create a save. All right, that's just a dummy safe. That'll be gone by the next wait. I could refill my CP. I could cheese. All right, gonna be right back. All right, let's do this. Wait. 
Oh no, was there an entire floor in between? Oh man. What floor was I talking about again? Right. You made it, I see. Brigadier General. Mm, I thought the or ordeal revolving around the Oriole was over, but it looks like that was premature of me. I doubt even Ragnar saw this coming. What about you and the Greisrotter, Kevin? Did you? Nope, it took us completely by surprise, although I can't say for sure whether the bigwigs at the top of the Congregation for the Sacraments had any idea this might happen. I do wonder. Well, I suppose there's no point in debating that now, anyway. Let's get down to business. As you know, I'm the third of the Guardians. If, if you defeat me, you can move on. If you can't, the road ahead will remain closed forever. Of course, you already know as much, don't you? Indeed, we came fully resolved to deal with what we knew was waiting for us. Defeating you will allow me to finally cut down my hesitations and move forward. And for that reason, I will hold back nothing. That's what I wanted to hear. Hmm. Hmm, what's with a funny stare, young lady? You're a real monster, aren't you? It, I should be able to sense how strong you are. Why can't I? <laughs> I, manip I manipulate both the Void and the Helix as my form. You might be a genius, but even you won't be able to get a handle on my capabilities so easily. And while I've got the chance, you should drop by our house with a stone Joshua sometime. We'd welcome you with open arms. A and why would I even want to do that? It's, a good, it, it's good to have the chance to meet you, Divine Blade. My name is Rhys Argent, the squire of the Grasritter. Argent? You're Rufina's younger sister, aren't you? Sir? You've met Rufina? Not in person. But her name ha was known by a small portion of those in the Bracer Guild, myself included. She was known as perhaps the most skilled negotiator in the whole of the church and an expert at problem solving. In many ways, her way of doing things seemed more akin to a Bracer's than a Knight's. She was known as the Thousand Arms, I believe. Indeed, and what you've heard about her was true, too. I heard at one point there was even talks about, uh, about the guild trying to get her to leave the church and join them. Oh, I can confirm as much. As long as she wasn't a Dominion, we figured the chances of her joining were, weren't zero and it was worth a shot. Unfortunately, she lost her life before those negotiations could serious, uh, seriously get going. I'm sorry for your loss. She was quite the woman by the sounds of it. Thank you for your kind words. Well, I think that's enough talking. It's time we got started. As I'm sure you understand you understand already, I couldn't hold back, even if I wanted to. So, Richard, I have only one thing to, to say to you. Yes, sir. Defeat me! That's all. I shall! Alright, let's skip this process. And that should be that. Bye bye, Divine Blade. Not bad. That's exactly what uh, Cassius just said. Not bad. Look at that. I will skip the experience gain because it's worth nothing. Because it's uh, just a little bit of a time waster right now. I think all those rumors about his strength were underselling him. <sighs> we did it. Congratulations, that was a well-earned victory. So, Richard, have you finally been able to clear aside your hesitations? I believe so. No matter where life may end up taking me, the swordsmanship I learned from you will always have a place and a use. As such, I intend to keep following the path I have chosen for myself, pride in my heart. Well said. Although I can't pretend not to be a tad disappointed, I've, if you'd returned to the army, I could have piled all my work onto you and sit. Looks like I'm not going to be able to retire anytime soon. <laughs> I'm afraid not. But know this. As my final duty as a member of the military, I will resolve this crisis and return everyone to the real world. Have no doubt of that. I'll be counting on you. Regardless, my time is short. So I'll make this brief. Kevin. By now you must have a fairly good idea who the Lord of Phantasma is, correct? 
Yeah, I just need one last push to be completely certain. I'll probably get that push in the next area, too. I see. It's not really my place to say anything more to you, so I would ask only that you not forget this. No man is an island. No matter how much they wish, may wish to isolate themselves from others, no one can live their life truly alone. Ah. <laughs> I'll probably not fight that fight again. <laughs> well, we have but one area remaining now. After what we have accomplished here, I'm not sure we have anything to fear. <laughs> Indeed. Let's head back to the scenic route and check the final monument. That way we can find out what the condition for opening it is. What about recent, uh, Bren? Now, now, now. Let's go to the base. Talk to Reason, talk to Ren. Do they have anything new to say? Oh, okay. Together now. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Who else? Wanna talk to Ren? I'll take Estelle okay. with me. Ren, where was Ren? Ren was standing right here? Yes. The two of you train together every day, huh? Okay. It's the same dialogue as before. Maybe only a gate has different dialogue afterward? Ren and Estelle are truly like sisters, aren't they? It's amazing to see just how strong their bond has become. Alright, I'll be right back. You made it, I see. Brigadier General. Cassius. Ha, I knew, I knew it would be you. I thought the ordeal of revolving around the Oriole was over, but it looks like that was premature of me. I doubt even Ragnar saw this coming. What about you and the Grasrata, Kevin? Did you? Nope, took us completely by surprise, although I can't say for sure if the bigwits at the top of the congregation of the Fuzzer Sacraments had any idea this might happen. I do wonder. Well, I suppose there's no point in debating that now, anyway. Let's get down to business. As you know, I'm the third of the Guardians. If you defeat me, you can move on. If you can't, the road ahead will remain enclosed forever. Of course, you already know as much, don't you? Indeed, we came fully resolved to deal with what we knew was waiting for us. Defeating you will allow me to finally cut down my hesitations and move forward. And for that reason, I will hold back nothing. That's what I wanted to hear. Damn, though, I almost didn't recognize you there, Charizard. When did you cut your hair? <laughs> About a month ago, I guess? I'd forgotten you hadn't seen me like this yet. Hopefully I'll be able to surprise you by just how much stronger I've been able to become, too. I hope so, too. Alright, old man. I might, have, I might not have stood a chance against you before, but today's different. Back when I first met you, I didn't really get the true meaning of what it was to swing this heavy blade of mine around. But not anymore. Now it's time for you to learn just how much this thing hurts when it's swung by someone who knows how to use it. <laughs> Good to hear. Well, I think that's enough talking. It's time we got started. As I'm sure you understand already, I wouldn't, couldn't hold back even if I wanted to. So, Richard, I have only one thing to say to you. Yes, sir. Defeat me, that's all! Yeah, I get it. I shall! Alright, let's skip this part. Oh, I didn't go into the tactics menu, did I? Alrighty. Yeah, Shira, sorry. True Luminous Divider. Huh. I probably have access to that already. I think all the rumors about his strength were underselling him. Oh, we did it. Congratulations, that was a well-earned victory. So, Richard, have you finally been able to clear aside your hesitations? I believe so. No matter where life may end up taking me, the swordsmanship I learned from you will always have a place and a use. 
As such, I intend to keep following the path I have chosen for myself. Pride in my heart. Well said. Although I can't pretend not to be a tad disappointed, if you had returned to the army, I could have piled all my work onto you and sit. Looks like I'm not going to be able to retire anytime soon. <laughs> I'm afraid not. But know this. As my final duty as a member of the military, I will resolve that this crisis and return everyone to the real world. Have no doubt of that. I'll be counting on you. Regardless, my time is short, so I'll make this brief. Kevin, by now you must have a fairly good idea who the Lord of Phantasma is, correct? Yeah, I just need one last push to be completely certain. I'll probably get that push in the next area, too. I see. It's not really my place to say anything more to you, so I would ask only that you not forget this. No man is an island, no matter how much they may like to isolate themselves. No extra dialogue for Shira and the Gate! Ah, he's gone. <laughs> Why'd I fight him then? Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Well, we have but one area remaining now. After what we've com accomplished here, I'm not sure we have anything to fear. <laughs> Indeed. Let's head back to the scenic route and check the final. No, let's actually, um, if the dialogue at the beginning is the only thing I need to worry about, then I can always just... Wait. Most important thing. Talk to a gate now. Because he defeat uh, like he fought Cassius, he should have at he at least should have different dialogue. Oh, okay. Piece of cake. Oh, subgate! <laughs> so how did it feel to fight my dad? Ha, ah, just beating him once isn't gonna be enough to settle the score, that's for sure. Back when I first met that old man, he kicked my sorry ass more times than I can count. Uh oh, right. One day I'm gonna pay him back tenfold. Count on it. Okay. The gate seems to be really happy that he got to fight Mr. Bright. He keeps talking about how he wants to beat up the real one next time he sees him, though. Ah, oh, why is he always like this? Kate really respects Mr. Bright too, and he keeps going on and on about wanting to fight him or settle some score. I wish I knew what he was thinking. Alright. One more. Just two more characters. And those two characters are gonna be Julia and Analyst. And then I'll end this little thing. Took me an hour to do this already. Julia and Atlas. Are those really the two I want? Zin could be cool too. Of course, uh, Cassius has special dialogue with everyone, so that's an issue, but not that big of a deal. Did I just teleport to the Hermit's Go? Why do you allow me to do this game? You made it, I see. Brigadier General, I feared as much. Mm, I thought the or ordeal revolving around the ordeal was over. That was premature of me. Even Ragnar didn't see this coming. The Greiswetter? Oh, I can't say for sure about the bigwits at the top of the congregation, though. Oh, I do wonder. Well, I suppose there's no point in debating that now. You have to fight me. Indeed, we came fully resolved to deal with what we knew was waiting for us. Defeating you will allow me to finally cut down my hesitations and move forward. And for that reason, I will hold back nothing. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm honored to have the chance to test my skills against you again, Brigadier General. I'd like to believe I'll be able to fear better against you than I did during our last battle. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm looking forward to seeing how much. I may have taught you the basics of swordsmanship, but it's clear you've long moved on beyond those and started to develop your own style. So I hope you'll be uh, you'll continue to follow the path you believe in. I'm sure it won't lead to uh, uh, I sh I'm sure it won't lead you astray. Thank you, sir. I'm honored you will speak so highly. Or, uh, you would speak so highly of me. Ha! Huh, I never thought I'd get the chance to fight you like this. So, like you know, I'll try my best. 
I almost wish I would have had the chance to fight you back before fight you back before I abandoned the path of the sword. But knowing how you learned your skills from Master Kafai himself, I'm looking forward to seeing firsthand what you can do. Same to you. And I think that's enough talking. It's time we got started with the Black Ark. I'll see you in a second. Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trios in the Sky the Third. Well, maybe it's actually half through the, uh, half... It should actually be through half of this episode already, but um, you just saw how I um, fought Brigadier General Bright with a couple of different people on my party. Well, actually, you did not see the fights, but you saw the dialogue. And, um, well, it turns out I shouldn't have had to fight him at all, and then I wouldn't have had to level up, and that could have been... That could have taken a... a you know, 15 minutes instead it took 60. Now I, I don't know how long that episode is going to be exactly, but what I'm going to do right now is board the Dark Ark. Um, I was told that I want Josette in the party for us, uh, for the first bit at least, but we'll see. In my lord's place, I, the Schwarzritter, do decree. Here lies the Black Ark. Place your hand on this monument, the orphan of a lost village among your number. <laughs> Touch the monument. Why here? The Black Ark. The glorious, huh? So much for the Crimson Ark. Now it's all black like a nasty crow. Hehe, <laughs> maybe it ate something burned and changed its color? Well, I see why they called it the Black Ark now. It looks like it's the same size as the original Glorious. It has the same layout, too. We can't be sure until we actually go inside and look around, though. This look lo looks like it's gonna be a barrel of laughs, although we should have figured as much since it's our last area to go through and all. It'll most most likely be full of Ouroboros arcasms, just like the laboratory was too. You know the drill? Guards up, guys. Got it. Whew. Well, this brings us back to a point in time where we had to do this in the second chapter and the Glorious was quite the massive ship, I have to say. It was ridiculously large. We had to actually go into there, or we actually actually had to go through it twice. Um, although this area is blocked off, this is where, where Estelle was held, I think. This is the, the like bridge area too. And we're gonna go directly into the into the bottom of the ship. Hello, Mr. Monument. Do you have anything new? No, doesn't look like it. Doesn't doesn't look like it. Camellia scythe. No, no. Nothing good. Nothing new. Funnily enough, I fought. Uh, I I had to level up my characters for Brigadier General Bright a little bit. And I fought the statues a little bit, and of course, in that situation, I get rare drops. I I was sane enough not to fight the grimoires, by the way, because I would have gotten an extremely rare drop, and then I would have had to. Then I would have done Richard's story and all the other stuff over again, actually. But this is cool. Glorious stern, one f first floor. That's the entrance of the deck, and I am right there. So this. Uh, why did you give me a map? I know the layout. I know the arc's layout. <laughs> Don't you worry. I spent too much time here. Do you still have those gates? Technically, that's a yes. But they're deactivated, all of them. Yes, that is inc incredibly convenient. That is incredibly convenient. But first off. Hi. Are you... Right, I was grinding... Cr um, I was grinding grimoires. Scarlet Lure, 9000 HP, a prototype archaism made by the society, unleashes its full power when HP is low. No weakness. Buddy, I'm gonna go down. You are gonna have to go. Do 
I don't expect him to give any rare drops because he's the first enemy we come across, but you know, maybe, maybe. Okay, Eric, don't forget to go into the tactics menu. Do not forget, do not forget. Do not forget. I think Joshua is equipped with a guardian or with a gladiator belt as well. By the way, Ren says two things, right? Later, Corpsey, and ha, ah, I'm the Terminator. She has a third thing she says too. Yeah, that she does. I hope you'll see it. I hope you'll, I hope you'll see what she says as well. Cause uh, I didn't have it in there. Yeah, you have the gladiator belt. Okay, tactics. Battle positioning. Um, you two up front. My standard tactic with my mages in the back and my melee characters up front. And then we'll start by hugging the right. Ah, oh, those are deactivated. I am so glad. Well, well, sucks to be me. Okay. Okay, clear the perimeter first and then we'll see what's going on inside. That's the problem. Hog the right is great for a labyrinth type situation, except when there's quote unquote islands, but that is convenient because then I can just enter here. Hi, you're in the way. I did not look at his drops, which is fine. <laughs> so you get petrified. So you do. Tear all bomb. Okay. What do you drop? Who are you anyways? You are Scarlet Latour. Resisting against attack uh, delay? What? Okay. You drop ninja garb, knight armor, reflective rope, kitty suit. I could go for more ninja garb and kitty suits. Knight armor, I'm kind of not that uh, excited about. That's cool. I I heard your I heard your weak against. Uh, oh, you're new. Miravogel. No, you're not. You are not new. I heard you, I heard you like, uh, petrification. Oh, that is so getting abused. You know it. Boop. I mean, that makes farming those guys a real option. Not that I'll... Good lord, I don't want to be in this mindset where I keep on farming everything, but I am. Hi. S tablet, wow. I get the feeling we've already met. Say, you got a twin by any chance? Yeah, but they didn't enter a black arc. They entered a red arc, or a crimson arc to be precise. Because cr crimson is a much more fancy word than red. Okay. Okay, fear. Then let's clear the intermediate area here. Skip the first door on the right and then hug the right. Hi. Oh, you have the mage dude with you as well. Then we'll hurricane it. Oh, right, he's not resisting against death blow. Oh well. You got, uh, you got room for a little bit of a soul blur or ascension is fine too, although soul blurs, I think the quickest of the skills. Might be the quickest.
I have to look at my drop rate. I have Drizette in the support. I have Fortune equipped. I have Divine Eye equipped. And I have Phantom Thief's Cape. My drop rate should be off the charts. Death 2 is kind of convenient, is it not? That is absolutely ridiculous. That, that, that is absolutely ridiculous, right? That, that's crazy. Death 2 is very, or death is very convenient. 20% chance for death blow to proc and that guy not being invulnerable against it. Him being weak against petrification as well. Wow. Those guys are a real peach. I think they give decent experience as well. Unfortunately, unfortunately they're always by themselves. Or, or, or there's ever only one of those guys in the fights. I wish I understood what what Kevin said there. That's that. Let's move out. Is Ren actually faster than Joshua? 111, 108. That, that's uh <laughs> I want another kitty suit for Josh. No, I that's a that's a wrong way of saying it. I need another kitty suit for Josh. Is the thing. Oli Banham Ray. Okay. No worries, I won't tell anyone about your theft. After all, chests don't speak. I mean, is that the game telling me go get Josette equipped and put her on your party? Might be. It might be. Wait, what am I doing? I want what? Used up all my CP, did I? Did I equip him with a gladiator headband? Cause he just got 10 CP from a normal attack. And Joshua, Joshua. This guy is weak. But his drop rate is abysmal. Okay, we have cleared this quote-unquote island in the labyrinth. I don't even know why I say those things. I'm gonna skip this door and then hug the right, although we've been here before. Although have we? I mean down there is only... So many doors. I don't think I've been in here. Zerum capsule. Please don't disturb the sleeping mimics. 200 of each kind of zepeth. Guess what my favorite tree is? Chestnut. Get it? <laughs> I hate my life. S tablet. Were you the one who made me feel empty inside? No, sorry. That was your last girlfriend. Oops, you don't say such things on the internet. Because they make people feel empty inside. Ah ha ha! Good lord, there should be another chess room and after that I, I'm done with this area in general. Hi! Insulating tape. Look behind you! There's a three-headed monkey! 
Gargan armor? Eh. Hey, I stole this first! Celestial bomb. It's you! It's really you! I'm such a huge fan! Will you sign my chest? Ooh, I would be creeped out if someone asked me to sign their chest. What is this? Tear all bomb. A cascade of freshly hatched spiders pours from the chest. Ooh. Crab special. What are you looking at? Side track chest tracker. Aha. Uh -huh. EP charge three. There's a note. Beware the carnivorous bookshelf. Ooh. Gladiator belt. Another one! Why are you leaving me open? I'm starting to be cold. Before I forget. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This chest has cursed you with the insatiable urge to check all other empty chests. Oh, I was cursed by the very chest in the very first game of this. Celestia Bomb. Hashtag treasure chest life. Why didn't you put an actual hashtag there? Treasure chest life. Alright. What's the Oligatorium or whatever that gun is called do? All abandon ray. Branch 6. Eine Kleine plus, plus 1 was better. A gun made of fragrant wood full of eastern technology. Um, I'm gonna go back, equip Josette, and after that we'll end the episode. Just for the first bit, and that's why I won't unequip Bren, I don't think. At least not off the major stuff. Or will I take out Estelle? She's good at buffing with her morale boost. I like Estelle too much. I like Estelle too much, I'm sorry. Josette, you're up. Up again, actually. Um, equipping her will involve stripping Ren of the Divide Blades' emblem of her kitty slippers. Reflective robe is probably better than anything of the other things. Any of the other things. You're gonna get kitty slippers as well for additional speed, although it'll reduce your speed overall. But movement though. Then Divine Blades Emblem. Look at that. 30 damage, 100 defense, 50 arts, 200 arts defense. 15 speed, 100 dexterity is ridiculous. And 5 agility, 2 movement. It's a very good thing to have. Very nice to have. And apart from that, you'll probably also take Phantom Thief's cape. Or no, you can keep that. Looks good on you, Joshua. Instead, you will take the Super Gladiator headband. Your range of five is all right. Peace breaker, wow. You're gonna equip this Oli Banham Ray. And then as for ornaments, I will give you damage. Mute two. Mute enemies. I prefer seal. Which Zin doesn't have equipped. Okay, fear. What? I only had mute. Where's... Oh, a seal is what... Seal is what a gate has. Well, mute sucks. Poison too, then. That at least does some damage. Speaking of damage, you're gonna you're gonna get a uh, ruby gem, which Ren has equipped. Why not equip Ren with a ruby gem? Doom, doo -doom. Uh, Apart from that, you will take probably defense. 
Or I could give you Zap Team Vein. You don't have Zap Team Vein. You have Zap Team Vein. Do you want something else except for Zap Team Vein? Physical? Could give you physical. Just it takes Zeptium Vein. You take an Onyx Gem. You take a Cast Two, probably because the only thing I will use her for is not doing damage. It's probably using healing items and buffs. And buffs are arts, and arts faster is a good thing to have. Then I'll give you... not memory. It's worthless when I use it. You have 170... you have a ridiculous dexterity already. I'll give you Yin Yang for healing. Evasion? Wood gem? Earth Wall is a buff. Small AoE, but still. It's a buff, alright. Yep, I'm fine with that. Okay. I do have her equipped. 110 speed, 108. Yeah, her speed is fine. Her speed is fine. Alright, then I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye!